Hello Stamper, welcome to Frenchie's video. I'm France Martin, independent demonstrator with Stamping Up. And today it's Stamp on the Go and it's bring the old with the new pretty much. Uh, I'm gonna be using new color. Um, this one here, it's the Sugar Plum. And we're gonna be using, uh, I decided to try it in a Flirty Flamingo. And the stamp set are all one. Uh, the one, the the leaves are the filigree here. That it's thoughts and prayers. It's way older stamp set, and I thought that would be perfect. Sheila, one of my teammates, did a card similar to that. It was a um, different one in the center. It's not available anymore, so I thought, well, this is going to work. And this platter, it's gorgeous crunch. And then the hello, it is from um, Watercolor Wishes. Well, for Stam on the Go, I try to stay with very limited product. So I'm going to use uh, Thoughts and Prayers, and I'm going to use the Thinking of You there. So let's get started. First thing you want to do is take uh, your piece of cardstock that you cut in half that is 5.5 by 11. We're going to fold this in half, and I should have a bone folder here. Oops, let's make sure we... Keep that together good there. And then your next layer of the flamingo, I'm gonna cut all those new color short because they all long for me. It is four by um, four by five and a quarter. Then my white is just one eighth of an inch smaller. So it is three seven eight by five and one eight. So three seven eight by five and one eight. And you see I just get a little border. But before we're gonna glue this, one thing you wanna do, while using more uh, cardstock, you can take your butterfly, this is the itty bitty butterfly, and you can cut three right here in the back of this, and it won't matter, cause it's gonna get covered. So we're gonna remove this here. Now let me bring a piece of scrap paper there. We're going to use the uh, flirting flamingo with the gorgeous crunch to splash. And we're going to ink this. And I'm just going to ink it once. Stamp, stamp, and stamp. So you see I get the three colors this way. Now I'm going to take the daper denim so this one i'm going to call it denim and that i'm going to use and this you see how old it was before it used to come double mount on sim so uh, i had this for quite a while so i'm going to take this put that right there now i'm going to clean this one because we're going to use that in a different color too let me okay so now, like I said, I'm trying to stick with less uh, product for st a stamp on the go. So this is the part of the um, thoughts and prayers. I'm going to take my marker and just do thinking of you. Because it's a, um, what does it say? Thinking of you, please know uh, that I care. I just want the thinking of you. Here we go. Now I'm going to stamp that in the bottom. Let's hope that I'm kind of straight here. Oh, even if I would try to do this again, I think that was pure luck. Now we're going to take this and mount that on our card. Let's keep our butterfly there. Whoops. Put this on top. So you can stop over here, you know, if you don't have a little flower punch or a butterfly punch, you could stop right here. But we're going to add, let's center this here. The butterfly, i just going to add that with glue dots. And I moved my glue dots because I ran out of the theater station. Here we go. 
So I'm going to take a glue dots. Just put your butterfly right on the glue dot. This way it's so much easier. And there. And then right over here. So now I get three little butterfly. Now I got this lovely new ribbon. We got the in color ribbon. It's the ruffle. It's not ruffle. It's Rushed ribbon. R U C H E D. I don't even know how to say it. I leave it on the spool because we just need a little knot. So this way you're going to waste way less ribbon if you keep it on this than having a little piece and trying to do a knot. Now I'm going to come here. I'm going to cut there and this one I want it to go on the same side. Here we go. Again we're going to glue, use a glue dot. And you see you get a, a side that it's flat and a side that you get the knot. I want the knot cover, so I'm going to put my glue dot where the knot is. I'm going to put that on the branch right here. Now inside the card, I'm going to open this so you get placed right, oops. And I'm going to use my flamingo. And I'm going to use this... Um, right here so now it match all together and then I would stamp that to on an envelope to match my envelope when you stamp on an envelope you know what let me grab an envelope when you stamp on an envelope you want to stamp on the left side and that it's important somebody said that their card were coming back or something they were stamping all in the bottom or over here well if you stamp on the right side or all the way in the bottom that's where the reader go and then sometimes it's going to reject so you always want to keep your writing on the left side so your address go there you can stamp over there you still have place to write your address so remember all on the right side the returning address and if you want to stamp and voila is that cool now i'm going to show you both of the cards let me remove this so i don't get a mess well maybe maybe not and okay so this was the fl flamingo and this was the sugar plum see how pretty it is and then the the greeting and the leaves that was the denim this is it for my stamp on the go for all your stamping of product visit my blog at frenchystamps.com thank you so much and have a lovely day my friends